Let's explore the vector group features in Designer Pro. Let's create a new project. We'll just stick with the 8 by 12 demo size. Let's design a project that we can carve with the vector group, which is our V carving feature in Designer Pro. V carving is when you use the V bit to route out a shape, uh, much like centerline text, but with the vector group feature, you can use centerline type cutting for uh, patterns and, and objects. But we have to create those in the software or import them in. Let's draw some shapes here. Let's go turn on our grid. And let's snap our objects to the grid. And then I'm going to use the connected lines tool and let's go draw some shapes here. Let's make sure that they are closed and symmetrical. Let's add something more here. The nice thing about the snap to grid is it gives you a nice precise uh, measurements when you're drawing and we can go adjust this later if we feel like any of this is not quite how we want make sure we connect those that they are closed shapes let me go ahead and center this center all of these so if I make any adjustments they stay in the middle center this one and you notice I'm using the yellow arrows to make adjustments to these rather than grabbing on the dots because the dots will control just one aspect just that one particular dot if I use the yellow pieces I can stretch and compress the the overall drawing there so that's a, just a very simple diamond shape. We can add whatever shapes we want here to this. It doesn't really, uh, we're not really limited. We can add as many as we want. Maybe mirror these and create an overall design. We see some pieces like this where people are using the epoxy inlay techniques and also the v-carve inlay where you v-carve this stuff out and then you can uh, fill it with colored epoxies and get a nice uh, inlay effect for like a box top or something. Okay with these objects drawn I'm selecting them all and I'm going to click on this tool down here called Make Vector Group. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to open up this feature here, which allows me to highlight different things and make them red. Uh, that's indicating what's going to be carved. I can do it alternate, which is going to make sure it's going every other one. So if I've got a more intricate design, it's going to route to just the every every other piece here kind of like it's doing or you can do all and it'll route everything out you can choose between your 60 and 90 degree V bit I'm going to just use the 90 for this and let's do all of those and click OK OK we can see how it's doing a center line cut a V cut on all of those type of shapes there so that is how it works. That's the basic of how it works. You can draw as many shapes as you want and and as long as they are closed vector shapes, uh, you can assign them the, the V bits and have it carve them out. <laughs>